Hey guys, so this video here is actually my second video today. Uh, my first video, uh, I mentioned that there would be a second one. And uh, this is an awesome estate sale uh, score, which I mean in the title you can see briefly what it is. But uh, I'm really excited about this. What it is, last night I was restless, you know, and I got on estatesales.net and I was looking in my area for estate sales, looking for military stuff. And um, I actually saw a folded American flag in a picture at one. And I messaged them and they responded early this morning, said there's a little bit of military stuff. And uh, it's been, it was really bad weather this morning. And uh, I figure, you know, it's the second day of the sale also because they started yesterday. I was like, man, all the good stuff's probably already gone, but you never know. And I'm so glad I got up out of bed and went to this estate sale. Uh, when I pulled up, you know, it, was, it wasn't time to open yet. There was a few vehicles already, but, you know, I waited a few minutes. And I, I was actually ended up being the first person in the, in the house. And uh, I went right to this stuff, and I just got a great deal on all this, this grouping here. I'm really excited. Uh, I love finding whole groupings and collections like this. It's just unreal. Um, there's a lot of history here with this uh, particular soldier. And I'm really excited to uh, bring you in closer and show you what I got here. So let's go. All right, guys, so here it is, my grouping I picked up at an estate sale today. And uh, I'm still trying to research this soldier some, uh, but I'll show you. These are his dog tags. His name was Harry Edward Webster. And see, these dog tags are dated 1944, United States Navy Reserve. Got two of them. And uh, I'll tell you more about the dog tags in a minute. But uh, from what little bit I've found out about this uh, particular man, it seems that in World War II, he was in the Navy, and he also served in Korea, and it looks like he was in the Air Force during Korea. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's kind of what I've gathered from the stuff I have here, and I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, hopefully, I can find out some more information on him, but um, I got really good deals on all this because it was actually half price day because it was the last day of the sale, and they wanted to get rid of the stuff, you know. And I just couldn't believe that all this stuff was still left from day one. I mean, you think stuff like this would go really quick the first day but it didn't um i got this uh jacket here of his or the shirt it's a herringbone twill hbt it's just got the 13 stars and um this one right here i'm pretty sure this is probably korean war era uh see it's got the got air force patch on the on the arm there and his the last name webster couldn't find a date or anything it's just got his laundry number he wrote in there but i'm pretty sure this would be from a uh, korean war uh, I don't think it's World War II, but um really excited to have gotten this. And they only wanted a dollar for this right here. A dollar. I couldn't believe it, you know? So I got that for a dollar. This right here is really, really awesome. And um, this right here is issued, basically given to some naval guys, you know, sailors or whatever. And um, basically it's whenever they pass a certain area of the, like, longitude and latitude. I don't know just a whole lot about it, but... It's some special thing they get, and they basically become what's called a shellback. Um, this soldier, he actually served on the USS Difta, which I looked, it was commissioned in 1944 up until like 1956. It was decommissioned, um, and uh, it, it was basically like a, a cargo ship, and uh, it was used a lot during the Korean War, a little bit towards the end of World War II, but um, he was a seaman second class, like the United States Navy Reserve, and this was issued to him on the 25th of September, 1944. And uh, this thing is just really awesome. It's got, you know, some signatures and the seal and everything on there. Uh, it's got this card right here, but um, it's called the Dominion of Neptus Rex. I'm trying to be careful with it. See, it's got different signatures of, you know, naval officers or whatever, but... It's really awesome to have this. This is going to look really good once I get, uh, you know, my new military room set up in my new house, which I haven't found yet. We're still looking, but, um, and you see it's got $15 in there. I gave $7.50 for this, which is by far worth it. That was a great deal, great deal. Uh, I got this, this cap right here. See, it's got the badge on it. It's got some spots and stuff on it, but it is old. And um, I think this was $7.50 also, if I'm not mistaken. A good deal on that folded american flag it's a 50 star flag but see they had 15 on it got it for seven dollars and fifty cents and then um his dog tags you know once i had 
basically gotten everything here together and they were starting to write me up my ticket i asked uh, the man i said are you sure you know as far as you know this is everything uh, this man had as far as his military service and everything and the guy said yes and i said yo it'd be great to have his dog tags and uh, he went to another room and came back and uh, he handed me these he said i don't know what these are but you can have them and i was like well those are his dog tags and he didn't even know these were the man's dog tags you know he's surprised or whatever and i'm so glad i asked you know because one thing i do whenever i'm looking for stuff is you know if you just put an ad on online or if you in person hey uh, do you have anything old military a lot of people right back gonna say no but what I do is I go ahead and I ask that, but I also throw out some things I'm looking for. Like, hey, do you have anything old military here at your yard sale or state sale or, or whatever? You know, like helmets or uniforms or bayonets or canteens, dog tags. And it might get their mind thinking, oh, you know what? I do have a helmet back in the shed behind the house. Or I do have some canteens up in the attic. Or I do have, you know, some old uniforms in the basement. You know, it gets their mind thinking of particular items. And it might re refresh their memory of stuff that they actually do have. Instead of just saying military stuff, they quickly say no. You know what I mean? But that's just something I do as a good practice. But it came with all of his medals. They're still in plastic. You got the National Defense Medal, which this would he would have gotten during the Korean War. Then you got the Air Force uh, Good Conduct Medal. Then you got, this is a, um, the a World War II Good Conduct Medal. It says Army, which he wasn't in the Army. Um, so I, got, I don't know if the Navy and Army use the same type of Good Conduct Medal or what. This right here is the uh, Expeditionary Force, Armed Forces Expeditionary Service Medal. And this right here is the Korea Defense uh, Service Medal. So I got all five of those, and I got them for $2.50 a piece. As you can see, the boxes are all marked $5. I got them, each medal $2.50. Couldn't believe it. Got this badge right here. See, it said 15 The guy actually made me a deal with this badge and these medals here for $25 for all of it. See, he's got this uh, military merit. I'm still trying to figure out what all this stuff is. Commendation medal. And uh, see, it looks in great shape. It's also got some little ribbon bars in there. Uh, too bad they're not actually named to him, but evidently this soldier was, you know, he was a big deal. You know, he got several awards and everything. And I'm, I'm thinking this one, he got two of them. I'm thinking this one, since it looks newer and everything, I'm, I'm thinking he might have got issued this during Korea. And I'm wondering if this one was maybe World War II. I'm not 100%, but um, he actually wrote on there, Oak Leaf, one Oak Leaf Cluster. See, it says uh, Commendation Medal, and it's, well, it's got an AF, I guess it would be Air Force, so maybe both of these were during the Korean War, I'm not sure, some of you might could tell me more about it, but you see they're the same medal, this one's just a little bit more flashier, um, and you see this one had $20 on it, but I got it, and this one was 10 which I got these medals, and this right here, and right in this little folded envelope thing is his little oak leaf clusters and uh, bronze ribbon bar um, thing or whatever but I got all that for $25 which I think was a really good deal and so the whole grouping here I paid a total of after tax and everything $62 it was like $61 and 90 something cents you might as well say $62 for this grouping and this thing is awesome I have no plans of ever getting rid of it I love like I said finding stuff like this I'm so glad like I said I got up this morning and decided to check out this sale and um, it's just been a great day. Um, this is the kind of stuff, you know, a lot of us collectors, you know, it's nice finding a medal here or there. But when you can get like a whole grouping or like a big collection, you know, pertaining to one soldier or sailor or whatever. I mean, that's just that's just what's really awesome and gets us really excited and and, you know, and, and keep us doing what we do. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, please continue to like and comment and share my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you're watching now and you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and interact with you. Um, anyways, guys, just don't give up on, you know, collecting. Um, good things come your way. Sometimes you just got to go through a dull period in your collecting, you know, in, in your hobby. But uh, things will definitely uh, pick up again. But anyways, I'll be getting back to you soon. Thanks for watching.